Hello, I'm Michael Tam. I'm a GP at the Academic General Practice Unit at Fairfield Hospital and a conjoint academic in the School of Public Health and Community Medicine. Welcome to this blended learning activity. There will be some online videos and readings that should take about 25 to 30 minutes to complete. This will be followed by an interactive live tutorial that will apply the learning material to clinical patient cases. This learning activity is titled Absolute Cardiovascular Disease Risk Assessment and Early Intervention and was adapted from an earlier lecture in the Phase 2 Society and Health Term in the UNSW Medicine Program. The aim of this activity is to show you how and why absolute cardiovascular disease risk assessment can be performed in clinical practice. To achieve this, we will integrate the various bits of knowledge that you may know and put it all together. We will revise cardiovascular disease risk, cover some basic statistical concepts in describing risk, consider the influences of socioeconomic and health system factors, think about the role and purpose of healthcare and the clinician, understanding on how and why these concepts influence clinical reasoning, and merging all that into making decisions for specific patients. The online video and readings will cover the more theoretical components of this activity. We will apply these concepts to real patient vignettes to demonstrate how appropriate intervention and management strategies are decided. This is an overview of the learning activity. There are four learning outcomes, of which three will be covered by the online activities. The final learning outcome and the patient vignettes will be used in the interactive live tutorial. The entire learning activity is about 45 to 60 minutes in length. The levels of expectations of your understanding and depth of knowledge are captured in these objectives and have ramifications to your phase two assessments. In terms of your knowledge of the benefits of conducting absolute cardiovascular disease risk assessment, this is a crucial part of this lecture and we expect it at a high level. Hence, explain. You will need to be familiar with the assessment process and be able to identify the information you need to conduct this assessment. You are expected to be able to demonstrate competent use of the Australian Cardiovascular Disease Risk Assessment Tools and Risk Calculator. These were introduced in Phase 1 of the Medicine Program and we will be revising these in this activity. As this is Phase 2, you will need to start thinking in terms of practical patient care and have knowledge of management. At this level, you should be able to describe the general evidence-based strategies of managing cardiovascular disease risk. Thank you for completing the introduction to the learning activity. The next video will cover the first learning outcome, explain the benefits of absolute cardiovascular disease risk assessment. I'll see you then.